what the fuck is up, y'all? Um, so I just wanted to kind of, you know, talk about some shit. Um, <clears throat> and I was talking about this in the, uh, you know, YouTube juggalo chat on uh, Facebook, you know. Um, <clears throat> and this is regarding uh, Chuck. Chuck Reeves and uh, the whole Wills Sigler's fucking situation. <clears throat> I mean, first off, before we even dive deep into this, we need to realize, first off, that Chuck's hatred for Violent J is the key stem on this entire situation. Um, whether he chooses to... Uh, you know, chooses to accept that or not, that's what the situation is, and, uh, you know, he's, oh, you know, the 17 percenters want to stick up for a fucking rapist, and be 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 Alright, so, we've, we've already came to the conclusion that, A, the gun was not used to do this, this uh, the supposed rape, um, from the god damn fucking son um from the stuff that i've read the gun charge came separately which chuck has you know said many a times that he didn't you know he's never tried to push that the gun thing was in the situation and i understand that but people are still tying it to the situation and i think that that needs to be one of the main things that is brought to focus um is the fact that that gun was not used to force a 13 year old girl to give him head that was that's not the story it's not that's not the story 100 percent. the story is ziggler went to a fucking bar that was iding girl had a fake id turned out to be younger than she was statutory rape um the fact that you know i could understand if you had you know fucking lured this girl in off the internet and you know she was all about you and you know her parents found out and they turned you in you know that like that's a fucked up situation and uh to just automatically label someone oh you know they're a fucking rapist cause uh you know you hooked up with a girl that fucking lied about her age like how 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 shitty is that you know, and then, and then try to use it to fucking drag, you know, a whole record label through the mud over your hatred for fucking one person, that's some petty shit, and, you know, all of his little fucking lap dogs are eating that shit up and saying the same bullshit story over and over and over and over and over again, <coughs> where it just, it doesn't make sense, and then they want to talk about, and then Chuck wants to say, oh, well, you know, we, uh, you know, Ziggler, after doing this, created a loophole that we call the Ziggler loophole to get out of fucking being on the, uh, you know, uh, sexual offenders list. Dude got put in prison for his crime before they started doing their federal list in Ohio, which grandfathers him in to not have to file for the same fucking thing. It's pretty fucking simple. I mean, you know, if, if... That's like saying, okay, you know, fucking beating one off is fucking illegal, right? Now, you stop beating off, and the cops come in there like, oh, well, we, you know, we, we found out through some people that, you know, you fucking rubbed one out a week before this bill went into law, and now we're charging you. Does that work? Is that a, is that a uh, you know, valid option to say, oh, well... You're guilty of something, even though, uh, you know, you did it before. Now we're going to go run back and retroact this fucking bill to force you to be the one involved in, you know, having to register for a sex list. Now, fuck you, wind. Now, if he had actually fucking went out and fucking snagged some fucking 13 year old girl off of the fucking street you know and uh you know as you guys want to say 
put a gun to her head and forced her to give him forced her to give him a blowjob, then yeah, he should be on a list. But if a girl lies about her fucking age at a bar and the bar were was not able to <clears throat> you know, tell that her ID was fake, how is any normal person gonna tell that somebody's ID is fake? You know, and it's pretty safe to assume, oh, I'm in this fucking uh I'm in this location <coughs> and for them to for people to come into this location it is on the location to prove that the uh, you know the ID card or your license is a fucking valid license for that person and to assume that you know Ziggler was in there and goes man that girl definitely way too young to be in here I'm hitting that like that's that's illogical completely illogical and you can call me a 17 percenter and you can say oh you quit riding fucking jay's dick i don't give a fuck if jay did something fucking stupid i'd say jay did something fucking stupid jay doesn't have anything to do with this situation he hired a dude to work for his fucking record label and now somehow it's his fault because the dude did something that you say is you know fucking um you know some horrible horrible thing by getting tricked by a girl. I mean, that's 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 what it is. He got you got tricked by a girl, and then was able to avoid a list because the list wasn't actually in their law at the time. He created his own loophole. No, he used the system exactly how the system was set up. You know, it's like saying fucking, you know, Trump talking about fucking. Oh, you know, we're gonna fucking charge. Hillary for blah 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 you're not doing shit you're not doing shit you know why because if she did something wrong the FBI would have already been on her ass it wouldn't take you to do anything I mean it, it's seriously like people don't fucking look at this and they want to tie it back to oh this is all Jay and psychopathic's fault and they hire all these people no they hired a fucking felon who already is going to have a hard enough time getting a job, and now he has to deal with the fact that a bunch of little fucking butt-hurt fucking crybabies are, oh, dear, he's not on this sex list, and he did this, and he did that. We don't know the full story. Like, shit's retarded. Chuck, just, just kill it. That whole fucking scenario, kill it. I mean, it, it's doing nothing, nothing but making you look fucking petty as shit, dog. For real, um, to 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 try to run somebody's lives into the ground that have already, you know, fucked up, as we want to say, it was his fuck up, um, you know, for, you know, automatically assuming that this girl was legal, but uh, at the same time, he was in a venue where you have to provide ID. She apparently provided ID, you know, good enough ID that it fooled the fucking bouncer. So, you know, this this whole, oh, let's blame fucking psychopathic, let's blame Violent J for fucking hiring a dude who got hemmed up on a bullshit fucking statutory rape charge. And it wasn't even a fucking rape. The girl was just too young and lied about her fucking age. You know, um, it's the, you want to harp on this dude while well, you've spent, you spent time in jail too. For fucking cyber stalking or cyber bullying or whatever the fuck it was. You know, like, would that not be a fucking pain in the ass if people were like, oh, fucking, this guy's on Twisted's payroll and he's, he's a fucking, he's a registered stalker. Let's make up this big story where Chuck Reeves, he fucking, he was stalking a uh, 14 year old girl online and going to her house and looking in her window and telling her that he was coming to get her like you know is that the story no but you know it's easy for anybody to make up a bullshit story and then you know harp on a motherfucker for <coughs> for some bullshit that isn't even the way it's perceived like why do you care what underling works at psychopathic why why does that matter I mean, what's the, what is the relevance of Ziggler? You know, um, all these years of being into fucking Juggalo shit, I've only seen Ziggler one time. And that was him handing out fucking tickets for the uh, free Blase Rose CD at the fucking uh, gathering last year. Like, 
He's not an artist. He has no influence on the fucking label itself. But we're just gonna assume. Nope. Government charged him or something. We're, uh, you know, he's automatically a bad guy. Let's not even look at the story. Oh, here's the story. Oh, that story doesn't fit our narrative. Let's go ahead and change the story up. You know, um, it's just, it's, it's gotten to a point where it's fucking petty now. Like, uh, let's talk about, oh, let's talk about this fucking flop of a, uh, operation that, you know, little Chuck Reeves tried to pull off. OP, hashtag OP Sigler. Let's talk about all these fucking people in the fucking Juggalo show chat. Like, <laughs> You know, I, I understand exactly why fucking uh, CPN would, would fucking block and put motherfuckers in timeout. Because you're bringing up shit that is not relevant. It's not relevant to anything. Your hatred for Violent J and the fact that you're trying to use it to fucking corral people into being like, Oh, fuck them. Oh, they hire fucking, they hire fucking pedophile rapists. Not statutory rapists. Not, hey, this guy got caught hooking up with a girl that was too young using a fake ID. I mean, it, I, I, I can't even. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. Can't. I don't have it in me. Don't. Chuck Reeves, you're fucking stupid. All of your little dudes, you're fucking retarded. Uh, call me a 17 percenter. Call me whatever the fuck you want. I don't give a shit. That shit don't matter. Um, but for real, just dumb shit. Grow the fuck up. Move the fuck on and act like, you know, your fucking life has some sort of meaning besides fucking shitting on somebody else's. Fucking retards.